Uh, my name is Graham Robertson. I've been here for about five months, um, working on construction and getting the infrastructure set up. So what I've been doing, as opposed to trying to fill the wall, like all the cracks and holes in the wall with stucco, which is a cement, uh, it's like a 10% cement and lime mixture, um, I'm going in and filling it in with sand clay first because you can build a lot thicker layers with sand clay. Um, and then if you to get the strongest finish with a cement lime mix, uh, which is sand clay with a little bit of cement and lime mixed in, you want it to be the thinnest coat possible because lime, hydrated lime, in order for it to cure, it has to be exposed to air and water, moisture in the air. Um, and if it's too thick of a layer, it's going to crack, it's not going to cure properly, and it's probably not going to be very weather resistant, which is the objective of why we're plastering these bricks in the first place. So an another reason that I'm filling these cracks is because um, it's about to get really cold here. Uh, these cracks will let cold air, or will let the hot air escape, um, and will kind of ruin any attempt that you have at heating a building. Little cracks, anything from a quarter inch to, I'd say, an inch wide. You can just use a pretty wet mixture of sand and clay. Um, so just go in, it's best to wet your wall first, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna go in and show. Um, just start from the bottom of the crack and smooth upwards. And just kind of go all different ways. Just kind of cup your hand and push it into the crack. The stucco is a lot stronger the thinner the layer is. So think of, think of the objective like you're trying to get like an eggshell coating on the wall because that way the lime in the, in the stucco um, carbonizes more thoroughly. The more it's exposed to air and, and moisture in the air, the stronger the chemical reaction will be. But stuff like this, it's just too, a little bit too big for filling with sand clay. Just push it in, get some like small gravel like this, mix it up with some sand clay, and then just push it in. Sometimes it's the rocks are too big to fit in there, but basic point of this is the rocks add a lot of strength. They prevent cracking. Okay, so this is uh, instructions on how to mix up cement, lime, uh, earthen plaster, or uh, the other known as stucco. So start out with enough water to coat the bottom. Um, the next thing that makes things a lot easier is having slip already mixed up which is one part clay and one part water. Um, what we do, our process for that is um, using a screen and taking dry clay, just any kind of clayish soil and pushing it through a screen into a a barrel of water or a wheelbarrow or bucket of water. So it's good to mix up your lime with your slip. Lime and cement and slip together. Mix it up homogeneously and then add the sand. So this is like half a coffee cup of lime or whatever that kind of can is. Just 5%, just keep that in mind. You don't really have to be so precise with it. But, and the ratios will vary depending on your soil and it takes some experimenting. So what I would recommend is mixing up a few different types and noting what your ratios were and then doing a test portion on the on the wall. So and then writing down what each ratio is and figuring out what's the best for your soils. Um, so then 
we're gonna mix this up usually start off with is about three shovels of sand um, and just get it to where it's like watery ketchup is what I think of so that's a good consistency for my preference uh, you can kind of tell because the the consistency of it uh, you can tell like how it stacks up on the surface kind of piles but it's not completely thick like that stuff. So I may need to add a little water to this stuff. See that how that sits up on your hand without flowing off like this. That's more what you want for a plaster sprayer. This could you could get by with that for troweling. If it's too thick with the plaster sprayer for some reason like this consistency cracks more than if it's thinner like that. It's an air tool. So you can see there's four holes here. Now those holes are not connected to anything, but there's four jets behind these holes that um, are pressed, that are blowing uh, compressed air. Well, you can get these at mortarsprayer.com. Ideally, uh, you need a compressor that can throw air at I think it's a 90 psi at 12 cubic feet per minute so the the jets will basically just blow the plaster through these holes it's a pretty simple tool now the problem is that's another um, thing I forgot to mention in my stucco instructions is um, if you're using a plaster sprayer, it's really important to screen all of your sand and clay through a quarter inch mesh. Otherwise you get these rocks in there. Um, so I'm dealing with rocks from clay that I mixed haphazardly like a few weeks ago in mass. So it's very, it makes it a, a lot more efficient if you screen all of your materials before mixing it. That's what it should do. So I'll usually do like two gallon, or um, 10 gallons, and then I'll trowel, but I'll just demonstrate. So you can kind of pick up the mud like that and put it wherever there's not enough. 